Well, very good Sunday morning. Welcome back to Valley Focus. I'm Valerie Moore. And my special guest today is an old friend, Bo Larson, Director of Marketing and Business Development for Civitan. I don't want to call you old every time I see it. It's just that you're a good friend. As you're, long as you throw in good looking, I'm happy Good with looking, it. <laughs> good friend, an acquaintance that goes back now quite yeah. a way. We have yes. a nice relationship here yeah, on Valley you. Focus with you, with your wonderful organization. And he brings with him today Patrick Andrew, who is the music coordinator for Civitan. And we're interested and so excited to hear about your new program today. But first of all, let's start off hearing about Civitan once again for anyone who doesn't know what your organization is all about. Well, again, Valerie, thank you very much for having us. Uh, we really appreciate this. Civitan Foundation is an organization that works with children and adults with developmental disabilities. We provide life enrichment programs from, like we're going to learn about today, music music therapy, we'll call it, our Mind Song program. We have art. We have theater. We have uh, a media class. We have a culinary program that's also a catering program. And it's all leading towards developing this self-confidence and the ability to go out and, and, and hopefully gain employment. And we offer a lot of job opportunities and skills. But we also have Camp Civitan, which is uh, just starting up. And it's 10 weeks of summer week-long camps up in Williams, Arizona, and 12 weekend camps throughout the year. And that's always, that's a really big thing. That The camp's been open now for 51 years. So uh, Civitan's been around. Uh, we're growing. We're adding another facility as well. And it really is exciting right now for Civitan because we are making a difference. We are busy boy. It's Bo Larson, Director of Marketing and Business Development again for Civitan. Civitan basically is an organization that serves developmentally disabled people of all ages. Yeah, of all ages. Yeah. I, I love that because you don't limit yourself to one sort of problem. You don't limit yourself to one age group. You just basically try to serve and help everybody. And that touches our hearts here mm -hmm. on Valley Folks. We are very fortunate to have you here. Thank you. Well, thank you. And, and what sets us apart, I think, from a lot of other organizations, and we all do great stuff, and everyone has their own style of, of how they do, but it's because we do provide a variety of these programs. And so it keeps our members moving, keeps them engaged, and uh, keeps them growing. We, we have some artists that have uh, sold some fascinating works, and they make money off of that as well. But they're learning a skill that they can take beyond our program and, and that's what it's all about and, and that's what our mind song uh, music program is all about as well and before we get into that i want to say that i especially appreciate the fact that you not only help these people but you also help them get employed and you also employ them right there in civitan so you're serving so many wonderful purposes and helping so many people we thank you again for being here today bo larson with civitan but you've got a special music program now to talk about today in order to tell us more about that we're going to get the microphone over to patrick andrew who is the music coordinator for civitan and good morning. Good morning. Well, thank you for being here, first of all. Well, thanks for having me. You're a music guy. I am, yeah. Now, is this a new collaboration here of you with Civitan? How far back does this go? What is going on here? I've been at Civitan for a year and a half now. I started out, I earned my uh, bachelor's in social work in 2016, and so it was my first social work job. And I started as a social worker working in home-based community services, and they, I believe they hired me to do music, so <laughs> isn't that right, Bo? Well, we like the opportunity he brought. <laughs> so I think they saw in my resume that I, I had been doing music most of my life. So they asked me to pitch an idea for a music program when they saw that after a few months of working there. And they liked you. <laughs> they liked me, and I think they knew that my passion was for music and for the members. My son is uh, he's 18 and, and severely autistic, and so he's the reason that I went into the field in the first place, and so I really am passionate about helping people. And so they gave me, I think Jeannie gave me two days to come up with a program, and so I, I went about creating a presentation, and they loved it when I, when I came up with it. So here's here's what we do. It's, it's exactly as I drew it out from the beginning. On Mondays, I have six classrooms that come through every day, Monday through Friday. On Mondays, we study a songwriter, and it's someone who has contributed in a significant way to modern songwriting. We watch a documentary on that artist and then look at their songs. On Tuesdays, we write something. And so we will brainstorm as a classroom. Each classroom will brainstorm. We'll put all those different ideas on the board, and then we'll create a song. Wednesdays, we look at a musical instrument that they maybe don't know about. On Thursdays, we record what we write on Tuesdays. And so we have recorded a whole album of material, and we're working on our second album right now. And then on Fridays, we do karaoke in the middle room. Well, that's really a wonderful program. It's called Mind Song. It's Patrick Andrew, who is the music coordinator here for Civitan. Again, this organization that helps all sorts of developmentally disabled people of all ages. They got a great big program going on. And uh, he started up this music program now. Tell me more about it. 
Sure. The last half hour of every day, uh, our classroom has many instruments from organ to a marimba to lots of guitars and drums and lots of instruments, and, and it's open for the members to practice an instrument. And so far, we've only had this program since last June is when we started. We already have a rock band and a choir happening. Wow. And we're ready to perform. If you're looking to hire a band or choir just want us to come in and, and perform, we're ready to go. Well, that's exciting. Again, it is Patrick Andrew, the music coordinator for the Civitan Foundation. And he's here talking about this new Mind Song program today that uh, he's been privileged to be able to be a part of. I just feel like music is really a key to so many things. It's opened so many doors and possibilities, and it brings so much joy into people's lives. I agree. I got to do so much research while developing in the beginning, even, you know, I pitched the idea and then I started doing research because we were looking at possibly trying to get grants for the program. And so in doing research, just seeing how much of it there was out there and how healing music is to the mind. And at first hand, I got to witness this when I would sit behind a member who was just moving their hands, trying to play drums. I would move their hands to a groove and they would keep going. And you could just see this relaxation overwhelm them. It was just beautiful. And to see that in any instrument because you're using both hands. And so you're using both spheres of your brain. And it's healing. It's creating new neural pathways. It's amazing. Well, it's beautiful. Music and art bringing to these people is certainly has to give them more of a holistic approach to all the programs there. You know, you're bringing everything into the program then. So they've got a chance to really become full and complete people that they were meant to be and that they're going to enjoy being. So go ahead, Bo. Yeah. And, and as a visitor, when I go into a classroom and, and see how it's performing, you see it and you see the growth in all the members. And you see not only in that classroom, but when we bring a, a couple weeks ago, we had a jazz band there. We've had other musical groups and performers come in and work with the members. You see the attention because there's a connection now between the member who, who's learning about music and wanting to learn more and their mind is connecting better. And for those that love America's Got Talent, for example, there was a recent show that a blind gentleman with a severe autism came out and performed. And it just, you know, it blew everyone away. And there's a unique hidden talent in every one of our members at Seven. A tan. You know, I've talked about our art before. I've talked about our cooking before. And now you're seeing it in our music. There's not everyone, but most. You know, there's something in there that um, is looking for that outlet to get out. And there's sometimes it just brings a tear to your yeah. eye listening and watching. It brought a tear to mind when uh, Patrick was speaking here about the drummer. You know, music, it's being therapeutic going into their heart and helping them. But then it's bringing out what they have to share, too. So it's a two-way opportunity here, is mm -hmm. it not? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So giving them op opportunity to share their gifts with others is, is big. And the songs that they're playing are their own. So there's, there's a language piece to this. I remember when my son was growing up saying, use your words, use your words. It's, it's something we echoed constantly to him. And that's what we're doing in this program. We are, we're using our words to communicate, to learn to communicate better. And in fact, we're in a series of feelings songs. So we're writing about all the feelings, happy, sad, excited, frustrated, angry, and what to do with those feelings. And so we're putting these in song form so we're learning appropriate responses to our feelings and we're writing our words down and we're learning how to say these things better well it helps them connect to each other it helps them even connect to themselves and bring out all of their potential that they can so it really helps the whole person and it's just a wonderful program again it is Patrick Andrew, the music coordinator for the Civitan Foundation, Bo Larson, director of marketing and business development here, who's kind of running the show today and telling us about Civitan. I want you to tell us one more time for those who are just joining us, what the whole uh, concept of Civitan is, where you are, and what the facilities are. Well, Civitan Foundation has been around now for 51 years, and we started with Camp Civitan. And we're an organization that provides life enrichment programs for children and adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities. And so through all of our programs and services, it's all about building confidence, socialization, physical fitness, creative fitness as well. And again, it's to help members go beyond where they came in. We're not a program where you come in and sit. You're a program where you come in and perform, or you act. and. We have a theater program. As I mentioned before, we have a culinary program. This summer, we're feeding over 15,000 students through a free summer food program because there's many children in elementary school who lose their meals if the school's not open. And so we're providing meals at eight locations every day. And again, made by our members, led by a chef. So there's so much that goes on. And we have our Civitan Village that is the main kind of day treatment program for adults. 
but we also have Camp Sevatan up in Williams. We have a thrift store where, again, our members are learning customer service. They're learning a little bit about retail, and they're making money. I told you about our culinary catering service, but we also have home and community-based services where there's some members that may not be able, let's say, to come to a day treatment program, but the parents want some services, or the parents want respite hours or respite time where they can get away. And so we have individuals that will come over there and care for that member at that time. We also have a respite house where members can get away on weekends or even during the week have a place to stay and families have a place to stay. And it's also used for um, recreation as well. So if we go to a lot of baseball games and basketball games and fun activities, bowling, dinner. And again, it's building that socialization and getting out and about because it is a shame. There's a lot of individuals with uh, developmental disabilities who sometimes are just kind of sheltered by no fault of the parents. It's the love of the parents that sometimes shelters them. And for the parents that have opened the doors to say, let's go to a Civitan, let's go to these other organizations, it allows that child to grow. And we also have other day treatment programs, uh, one in Maricopa as well as one in Williams. And we're adding a new facility. I wish I can give you the, the exact location, but we're closing on the paperwork now, so I'd hate to jinx it. But uh, it's going to be wonderful. Well, it's Bo Larson representing the Civitan Foundation. I'm very remiss now. I haven't gotten the website out there right away. Well, so we have to do that. And spell it out. It's www.civitan, C-I-V-I-T-A-N, foundation, A-Z.org. www.civitanfoundationaz.org. Yeah, check it out. There's a lot of information on there. You'll see a lot of visuals of our music program and all of our programs. And we have a lot of events coming up that if people want to participate and volunteer, and we even have job opportunities. So we have a lot going on. It's an amazing organization. If you have a developmentally disabled person in your family, a child, a relative, a friend, this is a good place to start. They got all the resources going on. They are pretty much the full service organization for a family that is dealing with a developmentally disabled person. And so please do start there, Civitan, C-I-V-I-T-A-N, foundationaz.org. And before we finish you up here, I want to get right back to Patrick Andrew, who is the music coordinator of this great new program. Tell us the name of your program again. Tell us every day how you go through your schedule it's a wonderful way to get the creative juices flowing for these people and we just thank you so much for thinking of this doing it taking it upon yourself to get this program going give us again what you do and how can people get involved do they just go online who's open for this class and that sort of thing so if you're a part of Civitan if you're a member coming to Civitan you would come through my classroom so everybody moves from all of the arts one program to the next so they go to art then they go to movement, and then they come to music. And on Mondays, the, my classroom would be studying a songwriter who's contributed to modern songwriting. Just give us an example of someone you've done recently. Oh, gosh. Who are we on this week? Ray Charles. Ray Charles. Oh, wow. Yeah. Classic. So that's fun. Yep. Yeah. So we look at their songs, we listen to their songs, and we watch a documentary on that artist, and we talk about what is it about their songs that, that are spectacular you know, that move us. And then on Tuesdays, we will uh, write something together. So it's Uh, a collaboration. Very much so. So we have a big whiteboard and we will fill it up with words. Let's say we're writing about, (laughs) this is a funny story. One of our members came in one day and we had written almost a whole album of of material. And he said, oh, I just got to get home and rest my kidneys. And I said, that's our next song. That's a song for sure. We wrote the song that day. (laughs) And it, as it should have been, it was bluegrass. That's the kind of song we wrote that day. Wonderful. It's on the CD. It is. It's wonderful. It is. <laughs> what is your background besides, I know you have this uh, social work degree. Mm-hmm. You're a musician too. Tell us about that. Yeah, I've, I've been playing music since I was in high school and professionally since um, 1992. I was in a band years ago. I don't want to go into that, but I, I, I mean, I have a Grammy nomination and a Dove Award from that band going way back. But I've, I've What been... band? Come on now. You've teased us. <laughs> what band was that? It was a band called PFR. Pray for Rain. But since then, I've done a lot of songs for TV, written a lot of background music and that sort of thing with my brother. We have a recording studio, and so I've had lots of a placement with TV shows. Well, we got a thing. celebrity here with us again. It's no. Patrick Andrew, the music coordinator for Civitan. Go on now, I interrupt you. They were telling me, so So Monday you talk about the artist, Tuesday you start to develop the song. Yes, and Wednesdays we'll, we'll study a musical instrument or the, something I just started last week. But I'm really excited about this one because I end up playing a lot of the instruments on the album and then the members sing 
but I started something last week where they are just creating the music. So I'm, I've really been teaching them how to use the music software that we have so they can build a song on their own. They were so excited. They already had four songs going the first day I started it. So I was, I'm like, ooh, this is going to explode. This is going to be great. <laughs> so, uh, so that's Wednesdays. On Thursdays, we record what we write. So our classroom set up so that we have a vocal booth and it has a microphone in it and it's connected to my studio. I can put a movie on or whatever and we can still record. So it's pretty conducive to the environment that we have. So And then Friday? Friday is karaoke day. So oh, all the members go in and they party, basically. <laughs> yes, they, they party. And Friday is also our choir rehearsal day. So the members are loving that. So they love to sing. I love it. It sounds like it'd be wonderful for anybody to get involved in, but especially for these developmentally disabled people. What's your age bracket in the snow? Well, generally our members are anywhere from when they graduate from high school, which in the state is about 22 years of age. Some graduate earlier, so we'll say 19 to 22 years of age on up. Okay. Um, we have some members that are in their mid-60s. Okay. And one of the things about the music program, too, is that volunteers come in and perform. You know, we get instruments from volunteers. We're always, Patrick's always open to that. And we're open to going out. We want to let people know that if they're ever looking for, you know, a chance to share in what we get to see every day, invite us out. Call Patrick and invite us out and, you know, bring the choir. They'll bring the, bring the band. Not bad. And we also do catering. So, uh, well, full, a full service. Yeah, it's a full service organization to support the developmentally disabled of all ages. And one more thought uh, from you, Patrick. I just want to mention that um, I've had a lot of friends come in who are musicians and perform who've gotten involved everyone except my own band my band is vinyl station and nobody from my band has come in and I'm well just we're challenging just... them there get out there today everybody <laughs> and musicians i know if you've got something to offer and share it's going to be a wonderful experience you make lifetime friends in doing this and you help people and you can't help anyone without helping yourself too to become a better deeper more giving person it's a win-win when you when you give to something like this program absolutely and we want to invite other musicians to come in and, and share what they have over lunch Sure or whenever in my classroom. Yeah. Free food on Fridays. <laughs> well, this is just a wonderful organization. Again, it's the Civitan Foundation. We got Bo Larson here, Director of Marketing, Business, and Development, and Patrick Andrew, who started this great big new Mind Song music program. Final thoughts from you, Bo. Well, again, thank you very much for having us, but it adds to the fabric. Mind Song adds to the fabric of what Civitan is. I mean, it's always, it always has music playing. It always has singing, laughing, crying, running down the hallways, all those things. But to have our members grow in the music. It's a one more element that uh, we all get to share. And so it's so much fun to uh, stop by and listen to how they're progressing. You just see the growth going on in, in with these individuals and it's so much fun. And that website one more time. That would be Civitan Foundation AZ.org. You can go on there and check out Mind Song, check out all of our programs. Thank you again, Bo Larson, Director of Marketing and Business Development for the wonderful Civitan Foundation, Patrick Andrew, the music coordinator for the new Mind Song musical program. Best wishes. God bless both of you and come back again. Thank you. Thank you.